OMG VG! Welcome back to another Hasbro Beyblade Burst Unboxing guys. Today we have the Battle Tower. This Beyblade Stadium battle set comes with two Beyblade Burst Tops and you get a brand new stadium. This one is a multi-level stadium. That's the so first sick. of its kind. So crazy. There's level one and level two. So you start battling level one and you can end up landing on level two. So you finish the battle on level two. That's pretty crazy. And there's also four, one, two, three, four, four pockets. So four people, four bladers can participate in this babe stadium. That is insane. Yo, four person battles, like unheard of. Exactly. So we've seen the three person battle stadium from Takara Tomi. This one's a four player. So that's pretty crazy how many people we can fit in this stadium. Let's take a look and see what else it comes with here. So we have a Strike Valtriac V3. So this is also a new Beyblade we haven't seen before because it's a Strike Valtriac, not just your regular Genesis Valtriac V3. So in Takara Tomi, we call that the Strike God Ship. So this extra piece on the energy layer is what sets these Beyblades apart. So slightly different from your regular Genesis Valtriac V3. The second Beyblade we get is Twin Nemesis, uh, the Hasbro version, so it's called Noctimus N3. And this Beyblade comes with a different uh, performance chip. It doesn't come with the um, Ultimate Reboot Driver. It's kind of disappointing. Yeah. Yeah, so we're only getting a attack type performance chip. We'll take a look at that later when we open up the box. But I think the most exciting thing about this package is the stadium. So we gotta test that out right now. Yo, the stadium's actually super hype. Yeah. Yo, we can actually invite guests over and stuff like that to have a stadium that fits four people. Do we need another punishment battle? I think we need another punishment battle and some special guests. Yeah. What do you guys think? So of course, these are the uh, Swiss Strike Beyblade Burst Evolution Tops. That's the oh. stadium right here. Some more, more parts for the stadium. Yep. So it looks like it's the parts of the stadium, and we have the disc and the performance tip. Dude, there's so many different parts in this stadium, but there are instructions on how you how to build it. So wow, you can assemble it, right? Like that, that. that actually looks a little complicated. Yeah. <laughs> it's like building an IKEA furniture, <laughs> but way more fun, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Here we have the stadium, the battle tower. So right now you guys are looking at the four player side, four holes for you to launch into. So when you launch your Beyblade into this battle tower, you land in level one. So you're gonna battle in this area and all the Beyblades are gonna end up in the center area. As you battle, there's a chance that you'll land the second level, which is bottom here, right over here. And then there's a larger surface area for you to battle. And vice versa, because if you flip the stadium, you get the same thing. So land in the first level and a chance for you to fall into the second level. So you also have these score counters right down here and you can adjust and keep track of how many points you have. So you flip it and same thing on the other side here, goes up to five and you have two counters. And the cool thing is they act as a stand for the stadium, so it's gonna keep your stadium very stable. So before we battle it out on the Battle Tower set, let's show you guys the two Beyblades that we get. So the first one we have is Strike Valtric V3. This Beyblade has the Strike God Chip installed on the energy layer, but the thing is, it's mainly for looks, because you can't take this off using the tool, and also you still have the same switch strike ability with a spring blade attack here whereas your actual real strike god valkyrie is supposed to have the spring blades locked because of the strike god ship so basically it's more of a look thing so the second beyblade we get is noctimus n3 aka twin nemesis this beyblade is super sweet i love this attack type beyblade 
because you can actually switch modes. So you can actually unlock the energy layer and then switch from down slope to up slope. Uh, and the good news is they kept everything from the energy layer. The thing that didn't keep from Hasbro is we are getting a two disc and a Jeggy driver instead of a uh, ultimate reboot driver that we get from Takara Tomy. But I'm glad they kept the energy layer the same way as Takara Tomy counterpart. Dude, enough talking, right? Let's do an actual battle. Or at least a test battle. Let's try it out. Three, two, one, let it rip. Okay, All so right, that's the first level layer. Level one. You see, I didn't launch very hard because I'm trying to see where it goes. Ooh. Oh, not falling Spicy. out. Not falling out. Okay, so let's go a little bit harder. Dude, it's actually like pretty difficult to take the Beyblade out. I think you might have to like shake it out. The good news is there's uh there are multiple pockets at the bottom, so you can just shake your Beyblades out. Three, two, one, let it rip. Three, two, one, let it rip. Oh, Whoa. level two. Level two battle. Way bigger surface area. More spaces to battle. Nice, so I think that's kind of how it will work. And then you just shake your Beyblades out every battle. And you can decide if you want to go two man or four, four people. It's definitely a great product to show your friends and family and to battle with each other with your Beyblade Burst Tops. So that's basically it for this uh, video. Stay tuned for our battles, epic battles, uh, more unboxings, giveaways. Make sure you like the video, subscribe, and as always, Geeks out!